Hello and welcome to Matt's Reloading Bench. Today I'm going to be doing load development for the 300 PRC. I'm going to be using Retumble Powder, the Federal Gold Metal 215 Match Primers, Hornady A-Tip 230 Grain, and Lopua Brass. I had a little bit of a snag when it came to figuring out the uh, bullet seating depth. I typically like to start everything at about 20 thousandths off of the lens. And using my Hornady OAL gauge, I had a lot of inconsistencies. And I'm, I'm talking like 30 thousandths, 40 thousandths, 50 thousandths difference just from one time to the next to the next. I took about 20 measurements back to back and none of them were even relatively close to the next. Um, they were kind of all over the board. So instead of using that, I actually went off of the manufacturer's suggested bullet seating depth out of the Hornady manual. I have to say I am more than impressed with the results that I got. So stay tuned and let's check out how the range day went. With 78.0 grains of retumbo powder, I've got a group size of 0.167 MOA with a mean radius of 0.61 MOA. The extreme spread is 35.95 with a standard deviation of 14.84 and an average muzzle velocity of 28.02. This five shot group is going to be at 78.1 grains of powder. With 78.1 grains of retumbo, I've got a group size of 0.96 MOA with a mean radius of 0.34 MOA. I've got a muzzle velocity of 28.12 with an extreme spread of 25.98 and a standard deviation of 9.46. This five shot group is going to be at 78.2 grains of powder. At 78.2 grains of retumbo, I've got a group size of 1.01 MOA with a mean radius of 0.32 MOA. I've got an average muzzle velocity of 28.14 with an extreme spread of 22.31 and a standard deviation of 8.32. This five shot group is going to be at 78.3 grains of powder. Well, I'll tell you right now, that's five shots all touching. At 78.3 grains of retumbo, I've got a group size of 0.65 MOA with a mean radius of 0.24 MOA. The average muzzle velocity is 2818 with an extreme spread of 30.23 and a standard deviation of 13.05. This five shot group is going to be at 78.4 grains of powder.
At 78.4 grains retumbo, I've got a group size of 0.9 MOA with a mean radius of 0.3 MOA. The average muzzle velocity was 28.27 with an extreme spread of 38.81 and a standard deviation of 14.86. This five shot group is going to be at 78.5 grains. At 78.5 grains of retumbo, I've got a group size of 1.07 MOA and a mean radius of 0.39 MOA. My average muzzle velocity was 28.31 with an extreme spread of 11.84 and a standard deviation of only 5.28. This five shot group is going to be at 78.6 grains of powder. That's money. That's five shots touching. At 78.6 grains of retumbo, I've got a group size of just 0.58 MOA with a mean radius of 0.23 MOA. My average muzzle velocity is 2837 with an extreme spread of 26.34 and a standard deviation of 10.73. This five shot group is going to be at 78.7 grains of powder. At 78.7 grains of retumbo, I've got a group size of 1.13 with a mean radius of 0.36 MOA. I've got an average muzzle velocity of 28.37 with an extreme spread of 17.37 and a standard deviation of 7.34. This five shot group is going to be at 78.8 grains of powder. At 78.8 grains of powder, I've got a group size of 1.01 MOA with a mean radius of 0.32 MOA. My average muzzle velocity is 2832 with an extreme spread of 46 and a standard deviation of 17.71. The final five shot group is at 78.9 grains of powder. At 78.9 grains of powder, I've got a group size of 0.87 MOA with a mean radius of 0.34 MOA. My average muzzle velocity is 2842 with an extreme spread of 3725 and a standard deviation of 15.52. Well, I'm all done shooting, so I'm going to go ahead, get my target, head back home, figure out some group sizes and get together all the shot data from my lab radar and see what we have for the best results. Stay tuned. So after analyzing all of the data, I've come to the decision that I'm going to use 78.6 grains of powder. Um, I know it doesn't have the best statistical data, but it's got the best group data. And it's very, very close to 78.3, but it's just got a smidge more advantage. Uh, the 78.6 had uh, 2837 for the average muzzle velocity. Uh, 26.34 for the extreme spread and 10.73 for the standard deviation. Its group size was 0.58 MOA with a mean radius of 0.23 MOA. Now with the 78.3, it only had a muzzle velocity of 28.18, which really isn't a whole heck of a lot of difference. 
Its extreme spread was 30.23 with a standard deviation of 13.05. So everything was about 3 feet per second higher on that. The group size was 0.65 MOA with a mean radius of 0.24 MOA. So, like I said, they're very similar, but the 78.6 just has that a little bit of advantage. If you find any of this information helpful, please let me know. Hit that thumbs up button, and also hit the subscribe button so that uh, you can get notifications when my next videos come out. Until next time, shoot straight and be safe.